I don't think I've ever felt afraid to go back into Aruba because my daughter is there. That's the last place that I know that she has been. Nearly 15 years after Natalie disappeared, her mom Beth returned to the island where she was last seen. Beth's journey is documented on tonight's 2020. Imagine as a parent living with this nightmare. You know that your daughter has disappeared. You assume it's not good but you absolutely don't know what happened to her. 2020's Deborah Roberts says Beth retraced Natalie's steps in Aruba. She went back to that strip mall area where her daughter had last been seen. She went back to a church that she remembers visiting years ago that brings her solace. She took us back to the beach. This is the last known place of Natalie. This is where Natalie lost her life. Natalie Holloway was a star cheerleader from Alabama, young and full of life with a bright future ahead of her. At the end of her senior year, she took a graduation trip to Aruba with friends. Natalie would never return. Joran Vandersloot was seen with Natalie before she disappeared. He was soon arrested for her murder. Did you kill Natalie Holloway? No. Did you harm Natalie Holloway? No. The charges were eventually dropped and Yoram became a free man, but he'd soon be back in prison, exactly five years to the day after Natalie disappeared. Yoram killed a woman named Stephanie Flores. He was spotted with Stephanie at a casino. Shockingly, five years earlier, he was spotted at a casino with Natalie before she vanished. Yoram confessed to Stephanie's murder. He's serving out his sentence in a Peruvian prison. Yaron is in prison where he belongs. In 2010, Beth actually snuck into the prison to confront him, but Yorn refused to give her the answers she was looking for. Parents that have a missing, murdered loved one will do anything in order to get a resolution. Beth Holloway is living every parent's nightmare. She has been on this excruciating emotional roller coaster for 15 years. She has had to try to come to terms with the idea that she will never know what happened to her daughter. The island of Aruba is not Natalie's life. This is where Natalie's life ended, but this was not her life.